I get to share the verse of the day with you today. It's from Proverbs 29 and it's verse 18 and it says, where there is no vision, the people are unrestrained. I need glasses. Um, I don't wear them nearly as often as I should. Uh, the reason I need glasses is because I am short-sighted, so I really struggle with things in the distance. I find it difficult to, to read um, that is far ahead of me. I find it difficult to make out people's faces if they're too far away, so it can be waving at total randoms that I don't know, thinking they're someone else. Um, and everything is just very out of focus, blurry, and a little bit hazy. As soon as I put my glasses on, however, um, things come into uh, focus. It is such a difference. I can see things with confidence. I can read at a distance with confidence. I can wave at someone knowing I know them. Uh, and yeah, my whole world just comes into focus. It's so much sharper and uh, I have so much more clarity. I think when it comes to uh, God's vision for us and for our life, um, we could really use some spiritual glasses, some uh, glasses that help us see things clearly and just have that clarity that we need and know in which direction to go. The word vision uh, in the Bible is often referred to as an encounter with God where he imparts special revelation. When it comes to God's vision for our life, um, and receiving that special revelation. Um, I think there are two things um, that I've been challenged with that uh, I think are really important and will help you um, as you try to receive that. The first is very obvious, the Bible. Um, getting into his word, studying his word, trying to go more in depth into his word. Um, it is God breathed, it is his word, um, and it's just full of direction, full of clarity, full of um, wisdom that we really could use when it comes to trying to interpret what God is saying to us and where he would have us go. Hand in hand with that, I think the second thing would be prayer, communicating with God, sitting at his feet, praying to him, talking to him, asking him, God, what is your vision for me in 2024? What would you have me do? Where would you have me go? Um, what is your agenda for my life? And if we take those two things and we go deeper in our relationship with God, I think it then helps us to be more attuned to what it is that he's saying to us. It opens our hearts and it opens our ears um, to what it is that he's saying, to those special revelations that we're asking him for. One of my favorite hymns uh, we actually had it at our wedding, was uh, Be Thou My Vision. And it goes like this. Be thou my vision, O Lord of my heart, not be all else to me, save that thou art. Thou my best thought in the day and the night, waking and sleeping, thy treasure, thy light. It's basically saying, God, we want you to be our vision. We want your glasses on. We want to see what your agenda is and what your plan is for our life, and especially going into this next year. So taking time to go into his word, taking the time to really pray, to sit and talk to him, but also to listen, to sit quietly sometimes and just wait and see what God will reveal to you um, are two great uh, tools that we can use. Thanks so much for listening.